What's going on YouTube? This is Jim Afanis, aka Viper Magic, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about my thoughts on Destiny. Now I've done a lot of Destiny videos in the past if you're uh, not familiar with my channel, and you may or may not know that I picked up the Ghost Edition on day one, and I've played it pretty religiously from launch, minus uh, a couple weeks here or there of burnout. But one of the things that I noticed was how difficult it was at the beginning of the game to reach end game light level. Initially, you had to go through the Vault of Glass, there was no other way. When the Dark Below dropped, the only way to get to light level 32 was to go through uh, Crota. And now with the second expansion, the House of Wolves, it's a little bit easier than it's been in the past, but I don't necessarily think that taints the quality of the game. So um, I grinded out Iron Banner over the last week, and I got my level 5, which granted me not one but two etheric lights, one of which I immediately put into my boots, and one of them that I'm still holding on to. And lo and behold, I looked at the Prison of Elders 32 this week, and it happens to be Kel Slayer boots, which would have completed my normal light level 42 set, granting me a character light level of 34. So all you really have to do is play through the Prison of Elders level 32 and you get it. Now, initially Prison of Elders was very, very difficult. Um, a lot of people didn't understand the mechanics that went into it. There were a lot of wipes. I cannot tell you the countless numbers of times that we wiped when the uh, arc, uh, arc Burn modifier was on, especially against wizards because they would just wreck you with their lightning attack those like lightning balls that they shoot but as we went on during the weeks and with the various groups it got a lot easier and now that i am light level 34 primarily because of the etheric light but even if i wasn't and i was light level 33 and a half the light level th or the 32 prison of elders just isn't that hard anymore and it's almost like a check in the box at this point in terms of hey i have a chance at getting something cool and I'll get it for my regular armor core, which I will then transform into a piece of gear. But if you're like me and you already have light level 34, you're at this point you're just modifying a couple perks. So my boots, I believe right now, are sniper ammo only maybe, which doesn't really matter too much for me because I use Icebreaker. But um, I think this week's boots have another perk that you get increased damage with the hive or something. It's the common theme of all the other gear. And then it has another perk, maybe special ammo or something of the like. And then that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, I'll be light level 34, as I suspect most of you will be if you've been religiously following through the Prison of Elders evolution. But again, I don't think that necessarily breaks the game. Um, like I said, Prison of Elders is getting a lot easier. And of course, there are additional challenges to be had in 34 and ultimately on 35. The real challenge, though, as a PlayStation 4 owner is not the game it's getting people together for the game it's almost this meta of going on the forums and finding people who aren't going to be asshats <laughs> and not that you can necessarily weed that out on the forums and for the most part the people that i've played with are actually pretty fun and pretty cool dudes or dudettes but the um a lot of people are very elitist they will check your gear and immediately leave or they will ask you if you've I don't know, light level isn't really a determination anymore, but early on that was a big factor, looking at your light level. And obviously, I wouldn't advise anyone doing light level 34 or 35 content unless they're end cap, so I understand that. But that is the biggest challenge, and I feel like if Destiny could shore up that matchmaking system, particularly in the Reef or the Tower, the two social zones, I think things would be a lot better. And yes, this is a long-winded, roundabout way of saying that I believe matchmaking needs to come back. But, um, or not needs to come back, needs to actually be included for all modes, because that's all we're doing anyway. But now I sit at Endgame. I have beaten, I've done it all for the most part. I have not gone to Mercury, um, so I guess not everything. I've dabbled in all the Prison of Elder modes, however. Um... I'm at that point again where I feel like I evolved a little bit too quickly and I applaud Destiny and the folks over at Bungie for giving us all the opportunity to see the endgame content without it being behind this veil of mystery or um, uncertainty for a lot of players who are like, well, maybe I'm not good enough. Are they going to laugh me out of Crota? Are they going to laugh me out of House of Wolves? And 
Um, but now we're to that point where we've kind of gone the other way, where we're so OP at this point, it's like, what do I want to do next? I mean, yeah, the perfect gun is one re-roll away, and you're always curious to collect the next exotic or the next piece of gear. But outside of that, um, I don't really think there's a true distinguisher between me and my fellow guardians who've hit 34. Now, I could be entirely wrong. Um, you know, you could argue that, oh, your exotic count is bigger than mine. But I got to say, I've been spending most of my time now on Destiny not ex uh, continuing through content with my level 34 Titan. But I've now transitioned over into my secondary character, a Warlock, and I've gotten him up to level 13. And I suspect that as, upon completion of him, I'll probably go roll a hunter and do the same thing. And um, we're just kind of at that phase that the expansion's kind of been conquered. And that's kind of disappointing because the expansion hasn't been out even a month yet, I don't think. Maybe it's close to a month now. I know that E3 is around the corner, and obviously, you know, I'm very hyped for that. I suspect we will be getting uh, official confirmation of the Taken King or whatever they decide to call the next expansion. And hopefully it will come out sooner than later. I just hope that the next wave of expansion material has a little more for us to sink our teeth into because I really feel as if right now this expansion has been conquered way quicker than it should have been. So that's just my thoughts on uh, where Destiny is now. And it's still an amazing game. And it's one of those games I find that I keep going back to over and over and over again. I, uh, I still have Minecraft in the box. I haven't opened it because every time I think, oh, I just got an hour to kill, I'm going to finally load up and start my new Minecraft adventure on my PlayStation 4. Nope, I go back to Destiny. I start working through Order 1886, ah, go back to Destiny. That's just my go-to game. I pretty much play it every night. And I got to admit, honestly, talking about Destiny makes me want to go play Destiny. That's how crazy this game has a hold on my life. And based on the forums, there's definitely a loyalist, uh, there's a loyal few of us who are in the same mindset as I am. Anyways, that's just my thoughts on where the expansion is now, and hopefully for the future, the folks at Bungie uh, space out the content a little more. Maybe not as uh, aggressive as they've done on the previous expansions, but I think it needs to be dialed back because we are all endgame gods at this point. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please do me a favor. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about Destiny. What do you guys hope for will be in the Taken King or whatever the next expansion is called? Are you hoping for, uh, obviously I believe raids are going to be reintroduced, at least one raid. Are you hoping for more of that kind of content? Do you like the always on demand? Is maybe that why people are leveling too quickly? Because you could do the end game content whenever you want do you feel that raids as where raids were locked out a little bit more and the content or the gear was a little harder to obtain as opposed to the prison of elders anything goes and then obviously the trial of osiris on the weekend sound off let me know what you all think i really appreciate the comments and the feedback thanks for watching and until next time guardians i will see you guys on the other side